I've been following what's going on with USA Gymnastics and that horrible trial where these women have to give statements in the court about the sexual abuse that they endured at the hands of the former USA Gymnastics and Michigan State University Dr. Larry Nasser. And we're upwards of 150 of these girls and now women who had their day in court and to be able to say what happened. Now we're going into the fourth day and probably going to get a sentencing coming up next week. But I think really what, I mean, it just, it goes back to Jerry Sandusky with Penn State. Who knew he was being investigated for 12 years? Who's protecting him? How's he allowed on campus? Who knew this? Were there complaints? Who heard the complaints? Were they formal complaints? How does this happen? And, it, and it's not just it happened for a year. It happened for decades at Penn State. And then you have the victims. And having known a victim who was involved in something like this, and no one listened to him. He was crazy. How could you say that about this person? This person was held in high regard. And you're saying this. Are you making this up? Do you have a problem with this person? So then you suppress it. And then you have suicidal thoughts. Like, I don't want to live. He drank. He drank a lot. He went into rehab eventually. And... He eventually had his day, but at, at, a, at a heavy price because it's with him the rest of his life. And you can tell he's empty at times. He's a shell at times because it just never leaves. And it comes and goes where you think of something or something reminds you. He said at a certain type of cologne would just set him off because it would remind him of this person who sexually abused him. And these women, these, these brave women who have gotten in front of this judge and, you know, that this, I don't even know how to describe Larry Nasser. Um, but he then, this is how delusional this guy is. Larry Nasser admitted to decades of sexual abuse of girls, young women, often under the guise of medical treatment. He actually wrote a letter to the judge in charge of his sentencing. And he said that he's concerned about his ability to be able to face the witnesses over the next four days mentally. He's worried about his mental state listening to all these girls come forward and accuse him of what he did. I don't know what you can give him. I would give him a year for every girl that he abused, and that's still not enough. But I want to know who else was an enabler here. One guy pulled this off. One guy was guilty of this and nobody knew who covered it up. I mean, that's what I want to know. If I give him 150 years in prison and I say, look, uh, I'm going to lop off 50 years here. I need to know who was helping you here. Like, I don't know if there's any incentive for him to talk, but I need to know. I need answers. Phone records, emails, what the hell? And he, you know, this doctor who wasn't even licensed to practice in the state of Texas, was, you know, checking out these girls at uh, Bella Caroli's ranch. Did, did Bella understand? Did anybody understand what the hell was going on? And if so, I want you brought up on charges. You know, I think USA Gymnastics has just cut ties with Bella Caroli's ranch from what I just read here. But, I, man, I, I, I'm putting the hammer down here. I got to find out everybody who's involved in this. Michigan State, USA Gymnastics, and the fact that he would bring these girls in, 13, 14, 15 years of age, and, you know, you're trusting the doctor. So when he says, this is how I'm going to examine you, and then you had these women who maybe didn't know better, or you had women who told their parents and their parents didn't believe them. But, man, this is just tough. You just feel for these women. It'll never leave. You get your five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes to be able to say what you want to say to this guy. But it'll never leave you. And these, these women know this. It'll never leave them. And it could be something as simple as what somebody says, how somebody touches them, uh, it, you know, how he smells. You know, his, did he wear cologne? Like, just weird things like this. And, and it's just, just horrible to read this. And this guy has the audacity to say, I'm worried about my mental status here. 
where I have to listen to all these women talk about how I abuse them. Oh, man. But it looks like the sentencing is going to take place next week. But these girls were speaking out about his abuse, saying that they were powerless, that he pretended to be their friend. He wants forgiveness. I mean, he's the face of evil here. But I hope that we find out who the enablers were. Just like what happened with Jerry Sandusky. People went to prison. There are other people involved in this. And I hope the people who are going after this doctor are going after these other people. Because this isn't just sports related. These are criminal charges that need to be brought up and bring people in. So, but I've been, uh, and I think it's what set me off with Larry, San, you know, Jerry Sandusky is to have a friend who goes through this and to understand what those little boys, and now they've grown up into grown men and it, they stay with it. It stays with you. And then you just, you take away the innocence there. You never get that innocence back. And these bastards, man. God. So hopefully somebody is going after some other people because it's not just Larry Nasser, and he'll rot in hell. Put him away as long as you want, but, man, there's other people that need to be brought in. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.